Eastern Chalukyas, also known as the Chalukyas of Vengi, were a dynasty that ruled parts of South India between the 7th and 12th centuries. They started out as governors of the Chalukyas of Badami in the Deccan region. Subsequently, they became a sovereign power, and ruled the Vengi region of present-day Andhra Pradesh until c. 1130 CE. They continued ruling the region as feudatories of the Cholas until 1189 CE. Originally, the capital of the eastern Chalukyas was located at the Vengi city modern Padavegi near Aluru. It was subsequently moved to Rajamahendravaram modern Rajamundri. Throughout their history the eastern Chalukyas were the cause of many wars between the more powerful Cholas and western Chalukyas over the control of the strategic Vengi country. The five centuries of the eastern Chalukya rule of Vengi saw not only the consolidation of this region into a unified whole, but also saw the efflorescence of Telugu culture, literature, poetry and art during the later half of their rule. <inaudible> Origin The Chalukyas of Vengi branched off from the Chalukyas of Badami. The Badami ruler Palakeshin II conquered the Vengi region in eastern Deccan, after defeating the remnants of the Vishnukundina dynasty. He appointed his brother Kuba Vishnuvardhana the governor of this newly acquired territory in 624 CE. Vishnuvardhana's viceroyalty subsequently developed into an independent kingdom, possibly after Palakeshin died fighting the Pallavas in the Battle of Vatapi. From the 11th century onward, the dynasty started claiming legendary lunar dynasty origins. According to this legend, the dynasty descended from the moon, via Buddha, Pururava, the Pandavas, Satanika, and Udayana. Fifty nine unnamed descendants of Udayana ruled at Ayodhya. Their descendant Vijayaditya was killed in a battle with Trilochana Pallava, during an expedition in Dakshinapatha Deccan. His pregnant widow was given shelter by Vishnubada Somayaji of Mudavemu modern Jamalamadugu. She named her son Vishnuvardhana after her benefactor. When the boy grew up, he became the ruler of Dakshinapatha by the grace of the goddess Nanda Bhagavati. History. Between 641 CE and 705 CE some kings, except Jayasimha I and Manji Uvaraja, ruled for very short durations. Then followed a period of unrest characterized by family feuds and weak rulers. Meanwhile, the Rashtrakutas of Malkt ousted western Chalukyas of Badami. The weak rulers of Vengi had to meet the challenge of the Rashtrakutas, who overran their kingdom more than once. There was no eastern Chalukya ruler who could check them until Gunaga Vijayaditya III came to power in 848 CE. The then Rashtrakuta ruler Amogavarsha treated him as his ally and after Amogavarsha's death, Vijayaditya proclaimed independence. <laughs> <laughs> Administration In its early life, the Eastern Chalukya court was essentially a republic of Badami, and as generations passed, local factors gained in strength and the Vengi monarchy developed features of its own. External influences still continued to be present as the Eastern Chalukyas had long and intimate contact, either friendly or hostile, with the Pallavas, the Rashtrakutas, the Cholas and the Chalukyas of Kalyani. Type of government. The Eastern Chalukyan government was a monarchy based on the Hindu philosophy. The inscriptions refer to the traditional seven components of the state Saptanga, and the eighteen tirthas offices, such as Mantri minister, Purohada chaplain, Senapati commander, Uvaraja heir apparent, Davaraka doorkeeper, Pradhana chief Adyaksha head of department and so on, no information is available as to how the work of administration was carried out. The Vishaya and Khatam were the administrative subdivisions known from records. The Karmarashtra and the Boya Khatams are examples of these. The royal edicts recording gifts of lands or villages are addressed to all Nayogi Kavalabhas, a general term containing no indication of their duties, as well as to the Gramayakas, the residents of the village granted. The manias are also occasionally referred in inscriptions. They held assignments of land or revenue in different villages. Fratricidal wars and foreign invasions frequently disturbed the land. 
The territory was parceled out into many small principalities estates held by the nobility consisting of collateral branches of the ruling house such as those of Elamankili, Pithapuram and Mudagonda, and a few other families such as the Kona Haihayas Hiheya, Kalachuris, Kalanu Saronathas, Chagis, Parishadas, Kota Vamsas, Valanatis and Khandapadamatis, closely connected by marriage ties with the eastern Chalukas and families who were raised to high position for their loyal services. When the Vengi ruler was strong, the nobility paid allegiance and tribute to him, but when the weakness was apparent, they were ready to join hands with the enemies against the royal house. <laughs> <laughs> Society The population in the Vengi country was heterogeneous in character. Xuanzang, who travelled in the Andhra country after the establishment of the Eastern Chalukya Kingdom, noted that the people were of a violent character, were of a dark complexion and were fond of arts. The society was based on hereditary caste system. Even the Buddhists and Jains who originally disregarded caste, adopted it. Besides the four traditional castes, minor communities like Boyas and Savaras tribal groups, also existed, the Brahmins were held in high esteem in the society. They were proficient in Vedas and Shastras and were given gifts of land and money. They held lucrative posts such as councillors, ministers and members of civil service. They even entered the army and some of them rose to positions of high command. The Kshatriyas were the ruling class. Their love of intrigue and fighting was responsible for civil war for two centuries. The Kamadis were a flourishing trading community. Their organization into a powerful guild Nakaram, which had its headquarters in Panugonda West Godavari, and branches in 17 other centers had its beginnings in this period. It seems there used to be a minister for communal affairs Samaya Mantri, in the government. The Shudras constituted the bulk of the population and there were several sub-castes among them. The army furnished a career for most of them and some of them acquired the status of Samanta Raju and Mandalika. Religion Hinduism was the prominent religion of the eastern Chalukya kingdom, with Shaivism being more popular than Vaishnavism. The Mahasena temple at Chebrolu became famous for its annual Jatra, which involved a procession of the deity's idol from Chebrolu to Vijayawada and back. Some of the rulers, declared themselves as Parama Maheswaras emperors. The Buddhist religious centers eventually attained great celebrity as Shiva pilgrim centers. Eastern Chalukya rulers like Vijayaditya II, Yudhamala I, Vijayaditya III and Bhima I took active interest in the construction of many temples. The temple establishments like dancers and musicians show that during this period, temples were not only a center of religious worship but a fostering ground for fine arts. Buddhism, which was dominant during the Satavahanas was in decline. Its monasteries were practically deserted. Due to their love of sacred relics in stupas, a few might have lingered on. Xuanzang noticed some 20 or more Buddhist monasteries in which more than 3,000 monks lived. Jainism, unlike Buddhism, continued to enjoy some support from the people. This is evident from the several deserted images in ruined villages all over Andhra. The inscriptions also record the construction of Jain temples and grants of land for their support from the monarchs and the people. The rulers like Kuba Vishnuvardhana, Vishnuvardhana III and Amma II patronized Jainism. Vimaladitya even became a declared follower of the doctrine of Mahavira. Vijayawada, Janupadu, Panugonda West Godavari and Munugodu were the famous Jain centers of the period. <laughs> <laughs> Literature Telugu literature owes its origin to the Eastern Chalukyas. Poetry makes its first appearance in the Adonki, Kandukar and Dharmavaram inscriptions of Pandaranga, army chief of Vijayaditya III, in the later half of the 9th century. However, literary compositions dating earlier than 11th century CE are not clearly known. Nanaya was the poet laureate of Rajaraja Narendra in the middle of the 11th century. An erudite scholar, he was well versed in the Vedas, Shastras and the ancient epics, and undertook the translation of the Mahabharata into Telugu. Narayana Bhatta who was proficient in eight languages assisted him in his endeavor. Though incomplete, his work is acclaimed as a masterpiece of Telugu literature. <laughs> Connection between Kannada and Telugu literature 
Kuba Vishnuvardhana, the founder of the Eastern Chalukya dynasty, was the brother of the Chalukya king, Palakeshin II. The Chalukyas therefore governed both the Karnata and Andhra countries and patronized Kannada as well as Telugu. This very likely led to a close connection between Telugu and Kannada literature. A number of Telugu authors of the age also wrote in Kannada and vice versa. Nanaya Bhattas Bharata in Telugu includes the Akara, a meter considered unique to Kannada works. The same meter is also found in Udamala's Bezwada inscription. Another inscription notes that Narayana Bhatta, who assisted Nanaya Bhatta in composing the Bharata, was also a Kannada poet and was granted a village by Rajaraja Narendra in 1053 for his contribution. Later Kannada poets, Pampa I and Nagavarma I, also hailed from families originally from Vengi. Architecture Due to the widely spread Shiva devotional cult in the kingdom, the eastern Shalukyan kings undertook construction of temples on a large scale. Vijayaditya II is credited with the construction of 108 temples. Udamala I erected a temple to Kartikya at Vijayawada. Bhima I constructed the famous Draksharama and Shalukya Bhimavaram temples. Rajaraja Narendra erected three memorial shrines at Kalindindi West Godavari. The eastern Chalukyas, following the Pallava and Chalukya traditions, developed their own independent style of architecture, which is visible in the Pancharama shrines especially the Draksharama temple and Bikavalu temples. The Golangeshvara temple at Bikavalu contains some richly carved out sculptures of deities like Ardhanarishvara, Shiva, Vishnu, Agni, Chamundi and Surya. Rulers Kuba Vishnuvardhana CE Jayasimha the first six four one six seven three CE Indra Bhadaraka six seventy three CE seven days Vishnuvardhana two six seven three six eight two CE Manji Uvaraja six eight two seven oh six CE Jayasimha the second seven oh six seven one eight CE Kokili 718 to 719 CE 6 months Vishnuvardhana 3 719 755 CE Vijayaditya I 755 772 CE Vishnuvardhana IV 772 808 CE Vijayaditya 2 808 847 CE Vishnuvardhana V 847 849 CE Vijayaditya III CE with his two brothers, Vikramaditya I and Udamala I. Shalukya Bhima I CE. Vijay Aditya IV CE, six months. Ama I and Vishnuvardhana V CE. Vijayaditya V CE, fifteen days. Tadapa 927 CE 1 month Vikramaditya the 2nd 927 928 CE Shalukya Bhima 2 928 929 CE Yadamala 2 929 935 CE Shalukya Bhima 3 and Vishnuvardhana 7 935 947 CE Ama 2 947 970 CE Dhananava 970-973 CE Jata Choda Bhima 973-999 CE Shaktivarman I 999-1011 CE Vimaladitya 1011-1018 CE Rajaraja Narendra 1018-1061 CE Shaktivarman II 1062 CE Vijayaditya V 1063 to 1068 CE 1072 to 1075 CE Raja Raja II 1075 to 1079 Vira Chola Vishnuvardhana X 1079 to 1102